Okay, so today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to do a flower pour over a Sprite bottom. I haven't tried that yet, but I've seen a whole bunch of people doing it. So I'm going to try it. Um, I'm not putting any silicone in any of the paints. I've got my canvas already covered. It's a 12 by 12 canvas. I've got it already covered with white. And I'm just going to go for it. I'm kind of second guessing my color choices. I'm kind of afraid I might end up with mud. Not real sure if my canvas is level either because I forgot to check that before I put the white on. Nope, it's leaning to the back. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Questioning which order I want to put these paints into. Alright, I'm just going to go with it. I may end up with a muddy mess. Time will tell. shapes today too. I guess it's time for lunch. Hmm. So it looks like my canvas needs to come up a pretty good bit. Let me see what I can figure out here. Awesome. And I was going to put some color under the center of the lid because, or yeah, the center of the bottom because I couldn't find my little my little thing that I could suck the white paint out of the center of this with. But it's alright. We're going to go for it. Trial and error. Trial and error. Alright, then I'm going to repeat that a couple times. Oh my gosh. My workspace is crazy. I've been doing several different things. I've painted just acrylic paint on canvas. I've been doing some pours. Earlier, I did a pour one day last week and I just kept seeing this horse face in the pour. So I ended up doing a, I don't know what you'd call it, a reverse negative space. I went in afterwards, after it was dry. Well, I went in today, actually, after it had been dry in this much. And actually blacked out the background leaving the horse as the pour, if that makes any sense. So the color in the horse was from the pour, and the background is black. And I'll share that. I'll share a picture of that when I get finished with this flower today. Oh, this may end up being okay. Maybe it will. Hopefully when I start 
moving stuff around it won't turn into a mess. I want to give a shout out to my friend DQ in Indiana. Hopefully she's watching this today and seeing these bright bright colors and making her think of spring. Alright, I think I'm going to let that sit there for just a minute. And while I'm thinking about that, while I'm letting that sit there for a minute, the colors I'm using today are all Deco Art Americana colors. Uh, one part paint, two parts Floetrol, no water, no silicone. This one is dark chocolate. Then we have dragon fruit. Then I went with coral. Sour Apple and Pistachio Mint. Alright, so I'm going to take this lid off there. Or this, I keep calling it a lid, it's really a bottom. I'm going to let that kind of go to the center there. Oh, when I'm pouring off the back. Right like that, maybe that'll help. It's going into the center. All right, and I watched a YouTube video on one of the paint pouring groups that I'm in, and so I'm kind of borrowing her technique. So I'm just going to drag out from the center through each of them. I'm really liking these colors. Oops, did that one the wrong way. And then I'm going to go back in from the outside beside each one of those. I'll pull some of this white in from the outside. Meeting it all in the middle. Now I'm running off that side. Get some serious table leveling issues going on. So what we're gonna gonna do is we're gonna pour off of one corner and then bring it back. Pour off another corner and bring it back. So I'm gonna pour off this corner up here first. I hope I've got enough paint on here. And then we're gonna bring it back. So now I brought the center back to center. Now I'm going to pour off that corner. Gosh, I may be pouring way too fast. I don't know. And I'm going to try to bring it back. This is going to be challenging. I'm going to pour off this corner. I'm 
and bring it back. It's harder to bring back once you've got that much paint moved. And then finally off of this corner. Oh my, I almost dropped it. And then bring it back. It's pretty much covered, but a little bit on the corners. I'm seeing, and like I said, I didn't put any silicone in any of the colors. I'm seeing some white trying to pop through. I'm seeing where it's trying to get some cells in there, so I'm going to take these gloves off. And I'm going to try to torch it and see if I can't bring out some of those cells. them under there. They don't seem to want to do anything. Let's see. Just gonna be patient. It's so crazy because I see them under their butt. They may pop through here in a little bit, all on their own. Just like the white ones are bursting through the corners there. I can see all kinds of cells trying to come through. All right, I'm gonna give that just a minute. I'm just gonna watch it for just a minute and see what happens. Looks like I've got something in my paint right there. I can't really tell, but it looks like there's a glob. Yep. And then I just opened a new gallon of Floetrol. And when I did, I thought when I was pouring it into my squeeze bottle, mm -hmm, I thought that I saw some clumpiness go in. And I'm not going to be real happy about that. Just looking to see if I see any more. I'm going to give it just a minute, and then I'm going to try to torch it again. I don't know why all the white cells are just popping up on the corners. It's kind of odd. But I can see all these little cells underneath in here. I don't know why. I'll just go around the edge of this. don't know why they're not popping through. I'll try to torch it again. I don't know unless I think my 
torch seems to be doing okay. Like they're right there. I can see them. bunch of little teeny tiny cells. I don't really know why. Well, I mean, I didn't use any silicone. I can't really tell. It seems as though it might be leaning to this side. Too bad. Too much, too much over there. Well, I'm really liking the color combination. I think it's weird that I just have white cells on the corners, but I'm going to leave it alone and let's see what happens. And I will come back later and show you the result. Thanks for watching.